numbers and cause to find my numbers. What if they're wrong? Every what if they're wrong? Every, every, every question. question. Every Could they just be illusions masking? Could just be illusions making the truth? Mind to rule. Tell me the answers. Formulas, but the formulas. What if there's more? What if we're just scratching the surface? It's mockus. The more I dwell, the less I comprehend. This theory plays a crucial role. It's reality itself, Ben. Laughs at my efforts. Not a merely engaged. Not a merely engaged theory. Once you've installed M Science via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your effects and your titles. To get a real-time preview of any of these, simply hover over and skim, and it will show in your canvas how some of these are going to look. So you can see we have backgrounds, effects, infographics, looks, miscellaneous, movements, selections, and typography. So let's just start from the top really quickly, and we can look at some of these backgrounds that are really, really cool looking. So I'm just going to use my dirt textures. I really love this. I'm going to highlight that and just bring that down into my timeline. Again, you apply it just like any other title. And then you can see here that that comes in. Over in our inspector, we have animation in and out. We have animation speed that we can do slow, medium, or fast. We have our textures opacity that you can use the slider on and then a few other published parameters. So these are really good because if you want to use any of the titles or infographics, something like that, they look fantastic. So why don't we just grab our diagram? We'll bring that in over top of our background. And then you can see when we hit play, that just looks so, so cool and is right in line with the brand and look of m science so really quickly on the diagram which is in infographics we do have on-screen controls for position scale and rotation and then we have additional on-screen controls here that you can move your x parameter there so if you wanted to do some sort of a push out like that you can do so just however you would want and then of course, over in our inspector, we're gonna have all of the published parameters. You have diagram alignment that you can change there if you want. You've got your number of segments all the way up to 15, which is very, very cool. And then make changes to all of the text with your published parameters beneath. All right, so let's move on down the timeline. We have this really cool shot of this volcano lava going on. So we can look at our effects here. So we've got multiple effects. We've got animated dirt. We have this really cool frame here. Um, a lot going on. So I'm just going to grab my frame and I'm going to drop that in on top of my volcano. And then you can automatically see that we have on-screen controls there that we can make adjustments to that frame and that look. And then over in our inspector, we have animations in and out and then additional published parameters. If you wanted this to be a drop zone, you can change this to drop zone and populate that drop zone with whatever content you would like. And then we have multiple frames and we have additional published parameters beneath like the focus, variable blur, color balance, etc. Now these are working as adjustment layers. So of course you can bring these in on top of each other. So let's say that we like this look a lot. And then we also wanted to do maybe some sort of light leaks or something. Well, we can bring that in and we can bring that in beneath our frame so that our frame is now adjusting those leaks. And you can see how that looks super cool, super quick. Over in our inspector, we've got all of the additional published parameters that you would need to make as many modifications as you want to those leaks. So we can move down and in this scene, we used our infographics. We used horizontal bar in the intro. So I'm just going to bring that in and you can see how that just kind of animates in. So up in our canvas, why don't we take our position and we can scale it down a little bit something like that and then over in our inspector if we wanted to make any changes to our text header we can do so here something like that and we can come down we can change our title to 
and then as we continue going down we have our published parameters we can toggle our number on and off our number size our color and all that good stuff here and something I do want you to notice that you don't have a number parameter that you can adjust that is because this actually works with your on-screen control here so you can see as we slide that up and down that is adjusting our parameter over here in our start line you can see progress line value so you can see that here so if you wanted to say we're going to 97 percent but then let's say that you wanted that line to not be so big you just come over in your inspector and you can just bring that back down wherever you want it so definitely be mindful of that when using this plugin that is how that particular infographic is going to work all right why don't we continue down now we can take a look at our looks section so you can see again by dragging over you get a real-time preview of how those are going to look so why don't we just for this case let's just drag our vintage down and then you can see here that that just animates in and it's got that sort of soft vintage look here up in our inspector we have our animations in and out and then we have color balance. So if you wanted to make changes to the look of that, you can do so here. So let's say we wanted to kind of keep that warmth or something like that. We can bring that over like that. We can go in our mid-tones. We can kind of bring that over as well. If we wanted it to be kind of a red or a blue or a green, just however you want that to look, you are going to do that with those parameters. We have glow that we can toggle on and off. We can make that a lot more of a glow a lot less of a glow all right so why don't we continue down so here we've got a few shots of me just kind of walking there now in our intro on this one we did actually use the frame drop effect so let's drag that in and you can kind of see how that is making a difference on our footage you can see how that's kind of that stuttery look over in our inspector, it's super easy. It just shows you your frame drop amount. So how how many frames per second do you want this thing to drop down to? So we can drop it, you know, down to five and it's real stuttery, or we could bring that up to, you know, 18, something like that. So it's just gonna be a little bit stuttery, something like that. So really cool. And it's a quick way to make your footage be a little bit differentiated and feel a little older if that's the kind of style and look that you're going for all right this next clip was a lot of fun we did a lot to it so you can stack all of these if you would like so in this one we used our leaks and i'm just going to bring that in beneath my little clip here that i had going make some adjustments to that we can change the hue a bit to be a little bit more in line with the color of the room we can bring our vignette in as well on top. We can use our on-screen controls here. You can see how that works. And we can make this not so strong there. So there we go, something like that. And then our desaturation strength, we don't want it to be so strong. So there you go, something like that. That looks really good. And we can continue down. And in this section, we did use our title two so I'm gonna bring that title two in use my on-screen controls here to just bring it down and then we also did something that I really thought was a lot of fun we used our highlights and we brought those in but then we actually brought those up almost out of the scene here and just kind of let them sneak in at the top and bottom there so that was really kind of a cool way to use this where you're just trying to show that you know there's a lot going on in this guy's head so something like that so on those highlights there are some really cool on-screen controls i did want to show you really quickly so i'm actually going to bring this back up let me show you how this works let me turn off our title very fast and then of course there are going to be on-screen controls for position scale and rotation but then over in your text if there is an area that you're wanting to highlight you have these on-screen controls here that are just so so fast and you can very very quickly just kind of figure out the word you're wanting to highlight just grab these bring them down 
something like that right there very neat and then there you go it just highlights in all together just like that so definitely wanted you to be aware that there is a lot to unpack in this plugin and we can't cover everything but there are a lot of really useful on-screen controls throughout this plugin just like this all right command z to undo all that and let's continue so let's see how that's looking so far kind of just comes in and then we went there and then we went back out really cool on this one we also we did do a little bit so we used our statics effect and we just drag that in on top of that clip i turn animation in and out off and then we can adjust some of these parameters if we want to make it look a little different and then with sound design we brought that in and we just had some glitchiness going in and out so really really cool we kind of did the same thing here just brought it in went back out so there is a ton of typography as you saw earlier here in this plugin and you can create some really really cool looks so we can just drag the date in if we want to drag that in on top here and we have our on-screen control we can just bring that over over in our inspector you can change your date and time here in this section you have your time units format and date format we can change the color so i'm just going to open that up and i'm going to use my inspector here to just kind of drag these colors in and now that's more in line with the look of our footage so you notice that the bar is a little bit off that's our marker so i'm going to grab our marker position and just slide that over and there you go so you can make all these changes here in your inspector as you see now we do have some movements. We have this kind of camera zoom, which is really cool. Maybe if you have like a document, a piece of paper, you could scan over that there. We have our multiple zoom ins. If you're wanting to show multiple pieces of information really quickly. And then we also have our zoom. So we can just drag that in on top of this clip and we can use our on-screen control to very quickly just kind of move that. Let's scale that down a bit and something like that now you can see that that mirrors these sections so be be mindful of that as you move around you're going to start to see some mirroring it's okay if you see some of it in the edges but just be mindful that that is going to mirror that now again you can have so much fun we talked uh briefly about stacking these so really quickly i'm gonna stack in my list elements section here and what we did is we did a list tick so you also have a separate kind of check mark that you can animate in so very quickly i'm going to do that i'm going to press option click and drag up and i'm just going to duplicate some of these and then just bring those down and i'm moving in real time here so you can see how quickly you're able to animate these and what's cool about this is they're not exactly perfect and that's kind of the point like you might want to make it look like it's sort of a hand-drawn thing where they come in and then maybe we want our ticks to be you know not exactly perfect with each other so something like that like i've done that i've done that i've done that something like that nice moving on remember we do have some effects so low over in our effects in m science we have two placeholders you can see it's just going to bring that in and we've got that text there and then we also have this as well to apply simply click and drag that onto your clip you will see you've got some on-screen controls again it's for position scale and rotation and then over in our inspector we can make those changes there or we can again change that footage mode from background footage to drop zone if we would like and you have all of your drop zone parameters along with your typography parameters and the last thing that we will talk about will be our transitions so m science comes with nine transitions if you scrub over those you will get a real-time preview again in your canvas to apply simply click and drag in between two clips and you will get those so really quickly you can see how this looks I really really like that one and that is our defocus it's very simple you've just got a few published parameters here and then our next one we have is the film strip and you've got a flash color along with a flash opacity 
and then you have additional adjustable parameters such as our footage edge opacity noise background color etc all right thank you so much for checking out this quick tutorial on m science which is now available on motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one